Minion in. Because of the time zone I'm in, I seem to always be asleep when this shit really hits the Varg. Get it? Because they spin in a circle really fast and shit would go everywhere. Anyway, uh, I have been an avid supporter of Bless Unleashed and its devs. I've always defended and supported them. I'm a dev. I know what they're going through. We've been in the same boat. You make mistakes, whiny player feedback can be demotivating, I get it. But right now, and for the first time, I cannot defend or support any of this. So here's what's happening in the world of Bless Unleashed right now. Remember the Lumina bug, where people were being suspended for investigation of potentially abusing a game exploit? Well, it's happening again, only this time, and this is definitely a big factor, the player base is much smaller than it was the last time. If you don't know anything about what's going on, there was a post on Reddit by Urux, the leader of Tier 1 Guild, and I should note that Tier 1 is claiming vehemently that they are in no way involved and that this is some kind of fake or hoax or whatever. Um, there was a video clip attached showing an estate exploit where you could have dozens of workers active on a structure at the same time with like a production time of one minute creating near limitless resources with which you could then flood the market. For those people not using the exploit, it made it impossible to sell any of their own stuff. I mean, the market was saturated. Why would anyone buy at a reasonable price? Now, there have been reports of this bug going all the way back to April 18th. But the response team clearly didn't prioritize this issue, and that's a shame, because now that it's become so widespread, they have hit the panic button. Again. When you run an MMO, there are two kinds of panic buttons. There's the server shutdown to stop anyone from playing and potentially contaminating evidence until they figure out exactly who is responsible and deserves punishment. And then the server is rolled back up without those people. And the other option is to suspend all potential suspects so that their accounts can be investigated without anyone potentially covering their tracks. So as far as panic responses go, we could have all been shafted and should count our blessings unleashed. Unfortunately, the response team didn't consider a less nuclear option and they totally should have. I'll get back to you on what that should have been. This sucks a whole lot for people entirely innocent who just got hit with a seven day suspension. Devs, I hope someone is watching this. This is a game. You can't treat this like an active crime scene and lock it all down. Maybe that's standard procedure for Korea, but this is a Western market and no one is going to be hurt by this more than your own bottom line. You know very well you could have made a snapshot of any account suspended of wrongdoing, isolated those copies from the game server so no one could tamper with them, and investigate them separately on a separate server without suspending even a single person. And then after you determine who was guilty, you could have banned those people. Permanently for all I care. Guild Wars had a no-tolerance policy for exploits. It was very clear from the very beginning that if you were caught using an exploit, your account would be permanently banned. I remember in beta, people were getting permanent bans for using them, and it did fine. But I don't remember anything ever about players being punished for mere suspicion of wrongdoing. Not in any game I've ever played. Yes, some people exploited the glitch to abuse the system, and some people happened upon this glitch by accident. That isn't their fault, and they don't deserve to be suspended because of your faulty source code. It's time to handle your shit. Get your shit together! Get it all together and put it in a backpack. All your shit, so it's together. And if you gotta take it somewhere, take it somewhere, you know? Take it to the shit store and sell it. Or put it in a shit museum, I don't care what you do. You just gotta get it together. Get your shit together. And let's talk about putting your foot in it. Like, really putting your foot in it. You guys suspended Dreamy Gamer Girl right in the middle of her Bless Unleashed stream on Twitch. Are the people working the response team high? You don't have her listed as a preferred content creator, but she has definitely been a contributor of significant value to this community. She's been making more Bless Unleashed content in the last month than even some of your preferred creators have been. She has been carrying the torch, and you guys just turned the hose on her. Here's a clip in case you missed it. Well, yeah, it says it's when you go to the estate that it's going to kick you back to the character select screen, but there's people that are getting banned. Excuse me. To be fair, the screen 
when you log in says ban. Now the last time during the Lumina bug, they put out a notice on Reddit that ban is the wrong term. That these are not bans, these are suspensions. The difference in case you guys didn't know, suspension is temporary, a ban is permanent. And boom. Oh hell right fuck no. In the middle of her I live stream. Know. They did not just suspend me for a fucking estate exploit that I did not even fucking do. Like this is okay. Lots of people watching. This just blew up. Who was asleep at the wheel? When this happened, I am furious right now. Legit furious. And Dreamy has every right to be furious, just like anyone else who got this suspension, just because you're suspected of having done something wrong. If I was a fucking heavy exploiter, why would I only have fucking hundred thousand star seeds? Kind of a red flag there. <laughs> For I mean. If you're broke, then no, obviously. I was out of Fire, and I just got kicked out of the game, and they said my account was suspended. Then obviously you haven't been using the exploit. Dreamy, it sucks that this happened to you, but I'm happy that if it was going to happen to you, that it happened to you during your live stream to further expose this thing. She was on while things were actually going down. People in her chat were actually being suspended. Guildies were dropping left and right. They were all sitting around watching this unfold and then BAM! Dreamy Gamer Girl gets hit with a suspension right there during her live stream. Talk about a PR nightmare, man. Dreamy, my heart goes out to you and I wish you all the best. I'm sorry this happened to you and to everyone else who was suspended wrongfully. It's like the Bless Unleashed team is just rushing to rope off a crime scene and if you happen to be standing inside or near the lines, you're now a suspect and not allowed to leave. With both businesses opening up again and the grind disillusionment being at an all-time high, and I've got a video on that subject you can see by clicking this card when it's done, your player base is probably pretty low right now and deserve to be treated better. I get our estates being off-limit right now. It prevents people from abusing the exploit until you have a chance to fix it. It sucks, but it's a necessary evil. I get that. I did spend an hour and a half taming last night so that I would have livestock for the next two weeks, and that feels like I'm time wasted. But I get it. To anyone who got the ban, yes, it sucks. It could have been avoided, it shouldn't have happened. I totally get if you want to leave and never come back, and I really hope the Bless Unleashed team takes a long, hard look at their response protocols, and I think after this they will, because this is not going to go well for them. Guys, if you spent real money recently on a 30-day booster or anything you're planning on using in the next seven days, I urge you to seriously consider contacting Microsoft or PayPal about a refund on those purchases, especially if you bought a 30-day booster because that time is ticking down whether you're in-game or not. So now, you bought 30 days and you're only able to use 23 of them? You've been sold an incomplete product and you have every justification to make that claim as basis for a full refund. My heart goes out especially to the people who reported this bug. You guys put yourselves in the crosshairs and then somebody pulled the trigger. I mean that really takes the cake, right? Some people went out of their way to report this bug weeks ago. As far back as April 18th that I could find. And now at least some of them are having their accounts suspended. And like I said, they didn't have to suspend anyone. They could be investigating isolated copies of account activity logs and then decide who should be punished. Something that does have to be said though, although the dev team grossly overreacted and potentially shit the bed on this one, this problem was originally caused by people finding a glitch and then exploiting it for their own gain and in the process not caring about fucking over the rest of the community. So those guys, you guys, anyone who legitimately exploited this bug, you deserve a permanent ban. You absolutely fucking do. It's those few idiots ruining it for the rest of us. And the devs really need to update their policies to punish the people who deserve it and not give good players the shaft. Now I said I can't defend any of this, but I think I need to defend a little bit. I can tell that the devs meant well. They could have just shut down the whole server and said nobody does anything until we have this shit sorted out. Sorry, game's just down now. And they didn't do that because they didn't want to take the ability to play away from everyone. And they did promise compensation for people who come back after the suspension. Compensation is not what we're looking for. We want to play. 
We're stuck at home, we're quarantined. We want to be in the game. And if we didn't use your exploit, or we happened upon the glitch by accident, there's no reason for you to take that away from us. So the intent was clearly good, but the actions were very much misguided. And they can fix this problem in future by doing something about repeat offenders to keep this stuff from happening again. Because instead of the few people that you could or should have kicked when this first started happening, you are now losing even more people who are fed up with it happening. It's reasonable to assume that the same people who caused this whole fiasco are the same people who exploited the last two bugs that caused this to happen. I've seen posts on Facebook to the effect of taking the ban is worth it if you find an exploit because you get to keep everything and you only get a short suspension. Totally worth it. If you want people to stop exploiting gaps in your code, maybe it's time to get rid of those people because you are hemorrhaging good players caught in the wake of the shitstorm that these exploits are causing. I've said my piece. If you've been wrongfully suspended, I hope you have a great seven days anyway playing other games. I personally recommend Warframe. And maybe when this is over, we'll see you again. I really hope that we do. Now go be freaking heroes. Minion out.